Brother Muhammad, may I ask you, how did your story come about that you lost your faith at one point before you come back? It came to a point that I was just living my life as per normal. Whatever the parents say, whatever society says, do well in your studies, you'll get a good job and you'll be good for life. So that is the aim, that is the goal, that was the pursuit. Then stumble blocks after stumble blocks, wall after wall, I didn't understand. I'm already in university, I already have friends, but it just wasn't going as what I had planned. So I started questioning. So hang around with friends who I thought had my back. As they said that I have their back, they will have my back. Mm -hmm. However, as decree from Almighty God has it, this group of friends, you know, once you already hang around with them and then you know they'll have your back, uh, I'll have their back no matter what. Once you say something like that means no matter what. However, I have this proof that I didn't do something which they claim I had done. I presented it to my friends, so-called. None of them believed me. None of them cared for whatever proof I had. And they said that I was the worst of the worst person that they have ever met, in a nutshell. Can you imagine having, being friends with them for so long, you know, or whatever they needed, sending them home. If you don't have enough money, we chip in for each other, you know, and then going on holidays together. And then when the time came, you know, to prove real friendship, they just and then say, no, 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 you, 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 are, you are a liar. We cannot believe you. We, we don't trust you. Whatever you want to say, we don't want to hear. The moment you do that, it is worse than, you know, literally putting a knife to the back. Really sharp. So how do you overcome that? I mean, you, did you ask God like, Allah, why, why my friends are there or how? Of course I did. Of course I did. I was just like, if you are there, why are you making this happen to me? You ask me to do this, not to do that. Abstain from this and then do this, this, this. I've done that. I'm not the worst of the worst human being. Why are you making this happen to me? I have proof. I'm not a liar. So Ustad, how did you from that point on come back to Islam then? What what are the religions you went, went to research on? Oh, uh, I wanted to commit suicide first. Ah, because really? Because they didn't respond to me. Oh my God, okay. Like, like, what's the point? I didn't choose my face, same as you. Didn't choose the body, same as you. So maybe since I'm hurt like this, maybe I'll just kill myself and then life will restart. Like, you know, reborn, rebirth. And that's where I went into uh, Buddhism. Wait, wait, so you thought of killing yourself at one point and what stopped you from doing that? Uh, painful. <laughs> oh, painful. Uh, painful. It just, it just uh, you know, um, it just didn't happen how much I tried to slice it just didn't happen so I'm not opening up but I'm just telling that the thought of committing suicide is just doesn't sit well with anyone you try you try to commit suicide you just see like hey, why are these uh, people suddenly want to say why is there a suicide hotline? Why they just want to save a life when it has nothing to do with them? Mm. People don't want that to happen because it's already innate. Fitra. Okay. So, mm. if anyone who's at this point about to commit suicide or have thoughts, do not. Because Almighty God has mentioned that whoever does so will have it repeated on them, the action that they have done. It will continue until the day of resurrection. Wow. What a painful torture, a painful, painful, dreadful one. Before we go, maybe you can give us an advice, you know, for people who lost their way and want to come back to Islam. What would your advice be? How do they search for Allah again? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. If you feel that you have lost your way, have no hope, go and read the story of Prophet Joseph or Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam. Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam, when he was young, he already had his test started very early on. His own brothers wanted to kill him and he was just at a, such a young age. But by the grace of God, he was saved. One of the brothers said, just throw him into a well. Then 
trial after trial, tribulations after tribulations, yet the victory came at the end. A super sweet victory. So any one of you who are going such a painful uh, trial, painful trial, yes, that you think that you just want to, you know, end it, stop, take a mm -hmm. moment, watch on YouTube, the Prophet Yusuf A.S. Uh, I believe you can go to Merciful Servant or Prophet's Path. These are two great channels. Beautiful. You have seen so many YouTubers doing a live stream, doing a live reaction of, you know, them watching the stories of uh, these Muslim prophets. Adam, Moses, all of them are Muslim. Muslim means one who submits their will to the will of Almighty God. That's basically it. So if you submit your will to the will of the Almighty Creator, the Great Power, you are a Muslim in Arabic. So that's why there is a reason why uh, all those stories were presented or, uh, you know, uh, were, were put in place so that we understand and then we learn from it. And Allah SWT also said that actually in Surah Taghubun chapter 64 verse number 15, your wealth, your children, meaning all your assets, your family members, they are all a fitna for you, a trial for you, a tribulation for you, a test for you. Mm -hmm. So always, always, whenever you're doing something, never do it for your husband. Never do it for your wife. Never do it for your children. You know, sometimes the mother loves the children so much, temper them so much. And then Almighty God will test them, maybe with a sickness. Or the wife go and find another husband, or vice versa. Never, ever, ever put human beings first. Always put Almighty God first. The moment you do that, your life will be a blessed one. So same as me, I understood the message from Almighty God. I stopped putting my friends first. I stopped putting my life in banks first. Uh, my study in science, medical first, I put Almighty God first. Then everything in my life was arranged perfectly. I couldn't, couldn't have it, and, uh, it any better. I couldn't have wished or prayed for anything better. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alif Lam Mim Thalikal kitabu la roib fi Hudan lil muttaqin Alladhina yukminuna bil ghaibi wa yukimuna solata wa mimma razaqna humiyun وَالَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِمَا أُنْزِلَ إِلَيْكَ وَمَا أُنْزِلَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ وَبِالْأَخِرَةِ هُمْ يُوْكِنُونَ أُولَئِكَ عَلَى هُدًى مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ وَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُسْلِحُونَ إن الذين كفروا سواء عليهم أأنذرتهم أم لم تنذرهم لا يؤمنون ختم الله على قلوبهم وعلى سمعهم وعلى أبصارهم رشاوة ولهم أذاب نظيم وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَقُولُ آمَنَّا بِاللَّهِ وَبِالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ وَمَأُوْ بِمُؤْمِنِينَ يُخَادِعُونَ اللَّهَ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَمَا يَخْدَعُونَ إِلَّا أَنفُسَهُمْ وَمَا يَشْعُرُونَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَضٌ فَزَادَهُمُ اللَّهُ مَرَضًا وَلَهُمْ أَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْذِبُونَ وَإِذَا كِيلَ لَهُمْ لَا تُفْسِدُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ قَالُوا إِنَّمَا نَهْنُ مُسْلِهُونَ أَلَا إِنَّهُمْ هُمُ الْمُفْسِدُونَ وَلَا كِلَّا يَشْعُرُونَ وَإِذَا كِيلَ لَهُمْ آمِنُوا كَمَا آمَنَ النَّاسُ قَالُوا 
قالوا أن أؤمن كما آمن السفهاء ألا إنهم هم السفهاء ولا كلا يعلمون وإذا لك الذين آمنوا قالوا آمنا وإذا خلوا إلى وإذا خلوا إلى شياطينهم قالوا قالوا إنا معكم إنما نحن مستهزئون الله يستهزئ بهم ويمدهم في طغيانهم يأمهون أولئك الذين اشتروا الدلالة بالهدى فما ربحت تجارتهم وما كانوا مهتدين مثلهم كمثل الذي استوقد نارا فلما أضاءت ما حوله ذهب الله بنورهم وتركهم في ظلمات لا يبصرون سم بؤم أمي فهم لا يرجعون أو كصيب من السماء فيه ظلمات ظلمات ورعد وبرق يجعلون وبرق يجعلون أصابعهم في آذانهم من الصوائك خدر الموت والله مهيت بالكافرين يكاد البرق يخطف أبصارهم كلما أضاء لهم مشوا فيه وإذا أزلم عليهم قاموا ولو شاء الله لذهب بسمعهم وأبصارهم إن الله على كل شيء قدير يا أيها الناس اعبدوا ربكم الذي خلقكم والذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتكون What we read uh, in English and translation Alif Lam Mim This is the book, there is no doubt about it A guide for those mindful of Allah Who believe in the unseen establish prayer and donate from what we have provided for them and who believe in what has been revealed to you O Prophet and what was revealed before you and have sure faith in the hereafter it is they who are truly guided by their Lord and it is they who will be successful as for those who persist in disbelief it is the same whether you want them or not they will never believe Allah has sealed their hearts and their hearing and their sight is covered. They will suffer a tremendous punishment. And there are some who will say, We believe in Allah and the last day, yet they are not true believers. They seek to deceive Allah and the believers, yet they only deceive themselves, but they fail to perceive it. There is sickness in their hearts and Allah only lets their sickness increase they will suffer a painful punishment for their lies. When they are told, do not spread corruption in the land, they replied, we are only peacemakers. Indeed, it's they who are the corruptors, but they fail to perceive it. And when they are told, believe as others believe, they reply, will we believe as the fools believe? Indeed, it is they who are fools, but they do not know. When they meet the believers, they say, we believe. But when alone in their evil associates, they say, We are definitely with you. We were only mocking. Allah will throw their mockery back at them, leaving them to continue wandering blindly in their defiance. They are the ones who trade guidance for misguidance. But this trade is profitless, and they are not rightly guided. Their example is that of someone who kindles a fire but when it lights up all around them, Allah takes away their light, leaving them in complete darkness, unable to see. They are willfully deaf, dumb and blind, so they will never return to the right path. 
or those caught in a rainstorm after the sky with darkness, thunder and lightning. They press their fingers into their ears at the sound of every thunder clap for fear of death, and Allah encompasses their disbelievers by His might. It is as if the lightning were about to snatch away their sight. Whenever lightning strikes, they walk in its light. But when darkness covers them, they stand still. Had Allah willed, He could have taken away their hearing and sight. Surely, Allah is most capable of everything. O humanity, worship your Lord, who created you and those before you, so that you may become mindful of Him. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu wa la ilaha ila anta. Astaghfiruka wa atubulik. We pray that everyone will get Jannah to Firidaus Allah. Amin. Say Amin. 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 Okay. Thank you everyone for tuning in and thank you Brother Muhammad for sharing such a beautiful wisdom with us today. It's a pleasure. Inshallah. May Allah bless all of us here who are watching the stream and you as well, Brother Muhammad. And we will come back again for a few more episodes. Inshallah. Insha'Allah. Jazakumullahu <laughs> khairan kathiran. May Allah reward all of you greatly. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.